Welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander 3. We're back on the victory after a successful mission, and Rachel's just hanging around on the hangar deck. Colonel, uh, can we chat off the record? Don't we usually? Yeah. It's one of the things that I like about you. And the fact that I like you is why I want to say this. Go ahead. You've got a look in your eyes that I've seen before. I had this fellow see, and he went out one day and saw his women get fried. Started to blame himself, and no matter what I said or anybody else, it didn't matter. A few days after that, he took out a thunderbolt and just kept going. He uh, hit a jump point just as the Kilrathi were coming through. There were a lot of fireworks. He might still be out there as far as I know. They never found him, not even a trace. And that look in your eyes is the same look that he had just before he went out on that mission. Do you want to talk about it? She understands. It's none of her business. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this might uh, have something to do. If you make one decision or another, it affects what happens later on in the game. She understands. I had someone, too. I keep having these nightmares. I can't get them out of my head. Maybe she ditched her craft in some neutral territory. Maybe she found out a way to sidestep the war entirely. But I kept thinking, one way or another, I'd hear. Only I haven't. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe my guy and your gal got together out there. At least they'd be alive. Yeah. But then I'd have to kill him when he came back. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Blair and Rachel here do have something in common. They both had somebody who's disappeared. And although Blair was willing to attribute the lack of Angel's communication with him as just being her being on a mission for quite a while, it's been a little bit different. She's hasn't made contact in a long time, and he's beginning to worry about that. He doesn't know if she's alive or dead or what. Well, if it isn't lover boy himself. I saw you putting uh, moves on everybody's favorite little grease monkey. Jealous? Oh, I don't think getting into her pants requires any high-risk maneuvering. He's jealous. It's none of his business. He's jealous. Or just the fact that it takes maneuvering leaves you breathing my engine exhaust, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I've dated all you girls. The idea that Maniac is just sitting in the, uh, sitting in this room here looking at Playboys kind of freaks me out a little bit. So I'm going to leave. I don't know if anyone's up here. Uh, not all. Listen up, Colonel. As usual, we have our work cut out for us. No doubt, sir. Now that we've broken the Karathi siege on the base, the supply ships can finally move in. We need to escort the incoming convoys, get them to the base without any deaths. That means a little housekeeping to clear the way. We're doing good. Let's keep it up. Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismissed. Cobra, I want you on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
Okay, we have ourselves an escort mission. Everyone loves escort missions, don't we? Here we go, take our thunderbolt out and uh, see if we can kick some ass. Now we're in an asteroid field, and I believe. We need your help, Colonel. All right, all right. Enemy sighted, Colonel. Breaking attack. Going down. Now I think this is going to be the first appearance of a new type of Karate fighter. I can't quite remember, but we'll we'll find out in a minute. Died yet. Die. What is that sound I keep hearing? Oh shit. <laughs> Let's crash into those. Why can't these capital ships defend themselves against fighters? I think they'd be able to. Nope, nope, they're all just gonna have to rely on fighter support. Doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I understand in modern day times why an aircraft carrier is superior to something like a battleship. But, I mean, in the future, when they got like all these computer controlled guns and crap going off and targeting things and all that, why can't they, uh, and, and shields and stuff, why can't they defend against fighters a little bit better than you? See, look at that. That guy just went, took down one of the uh, transports, took down a fighter. Yeah, so I'm a pathetic descendant of monkeys. I haven't heard that one before. Is that it? Jeez. Okay. We're not going to be able to get... If, if I'm mistaken, I don't think we're going to be able to get clearance to land yet. Need clearance, TCS Victory. That's negative, sir. Yes, because we're not complete the mission yet. We have escorted those, then we're going to go fly back out and escort a couple more. Can attack. Negative, sir. Yeah, there's nothing to attack. Let's get over here to the transport, though. And see if, uh... What's going on? Enemy sighted, Colonel. Breaking attack. Do something about it. Going down. Ah, it's cloaking once again. Anyway, you know the drill. There's no reason for you to sit down and watch me fly these missions, because some of them can take quite a while. So I'll cut the cameras and get back to you when something interesting is happening. Okay, we have succeeded! And we have our... I was a little bit wrong about, uh... Finding a new Kilrothi fighter to kill. So, uh, maybe later. TCS victory. Colonel, what should I call you? Dean? You got a standing invite from Black Name Base to join them for steak and egg now that they're able to load those supply cons. Clear to land, sir. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. Finally a compliment.